Um, and so what Paul was talking about, when I started right after graduation, I started a, an apparel brand called I Am You. The premise was to make people feel missed, still for I Miss You. And we had a really cool community service component where uh, we gave a certain number of community service hours per month, and then uh, we gave customers discounts off their purchases if they went out and did community service. Cool idea. Um, we did 18 months uh, selling on our website, pretty much t-shirts, hoodies, things like that. And um, we got to a point where I felt like we weren't moving in the right direction. Like it, it wasn't what I intended. And one of the things that I, I think is, is pivotal um, when you're talking about entrepreneurship, uh, I had good up throughout, but this, this I think is really important. Um, a lot of people say your, your, uh, your defense is, is your best offense. And this was really critical for me uh, as a young entrepreneur. I didn't plan on being an entrepreneur out of, high, I mean, out of college, and so I had a, a, a ton, of, ton to learn. But I was like, you know, you were so, I was so protective of this idea, like somebody was gonna come out and steal it, that I would be talking to the likes of Paul Saginaw and other people like, okay, would you sign this uh, non-disclosure agreement so, um, you know, I don't, I don't lose my idea. And I was extremely protective of IMU to a fault, where I wasn't getting the feedback that I needed from the people that were supposed to be my customers, because I was concerned that somebody was gonna run out and steal my idea. And so I played really good defense to a fault. And one of the things I wanna uh, leave with you here today is don't, I, I would strongly recommend to not, to not be that way. Um, the more you talk to people, it doesn't even, like, people that you don't even think would be smart enough to give you good advice will just look at something in a different way than, than you have. You know, we spend so much time in our houses, in our apartments, oh, I've got this great idea, I've got this great idea, and we're the only one that has it. And we don't even let somebody else in on it to say, I don't, th I don't think so about that. I don't, I don't think that's, that's accurate. And they may be wrong, they may be right, but the point is you got a different perspective. And so uh, what was really critical for me as we went through a rebrand was to start opening up and just talking about my idea with anybody. And like I said, you'll, you'll meet people out, outside. You'll, you'll talk to people that even though you've been thinking about this, this is your baby, you've been doing it for you know, so long and it, you, you think about it 24 seven, they just have a different perspective and can just give you something that you never even thought about. So one of my keys as you guys are starting companies and doing great things is talk about it, be about it. Just share it with people, test it. An idea that's not tested, you don't really have anything until you get it out there and the market can tell you that's a bad idea or this isn't working. 